is full of unknowns. You don't know if you will find love, success, or a happy life. But you for sure have no chance if you don't even try. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why we call it the present. Even if you have the ability to peek into the future, would you use it? It is part of life to face the unknown. However, people never cease trying to learn about the future. And a few people do possess such ability. A few even share what they know with others. The most famous one must be Nostradamus. I did not understand how he earned the top spot till I analyzed his quatrains carefully. Contrary to popular belief that he only gives out vague predictions, the prophecies I decoded are stunningly accurate and detailed. Let's check it out. There are 10,400,000 results when you search for Nostradamus. You must think I am crazy when I say I have some new decoding to share. However, 95% of the 10,400,000 results are about just a few of his famous quatrains. That is not what I want to share with you. Many people considered Nostradamus unorganized in the way he wrote his book of prophecy. Although I have to admit decoding Nostradamus is rather challenging, there are patterns in the book. As I found clusters of related quatrains and viewing the group together gave me new insights. Because history often repeats itself, what you find in the quatrain may be applicable to many events. However, since major events are hard to be thoroughly explained in just four lines, I think I should look for quatrains in groups. With a little luck and lots of patience, I found many fulfilled prophecies. Let me share some with you. The first 10 quatrains in Century 1 were the opening statements about the two revolutions, the French Revolution in 1789 and the Russian Revolution in 1918. Century 1 included almost all the wars from the 16th century. Century 2 offered graphic depictions of many doomsday warnings. There are 16 quatrains in Century 4 about Lincoln, Martin Luther King, and Robert Kennedy's assassinations. Then the Vietnam Wars and the refugee crisis that followed. The cluster ended with a car accident that destroyed Ted's presidential dreams. And are you ready for this? The clue on who killed JFK lies within Quatrain 409. And if you still think Nostradamus is not specific, please take a look at his Century 1 Quatrains. It has every Western war and several global conflicts. All were depicted in great details. Some even have the year and number of casualties in the quatrains. The French revolutions, Napoleon, Hitler, World War II, the Pearl Harbor attacks, the Iraq invasion, the Korean War, even the 1949 Chinese Civil War were all predicted in detail. And then I decided to check if there are quatrains about Nostradamus' famous clients. I started with Catherine de Medici, the French queen who trusted, hired, and protected Nostradamus. Nostradamus predicted her husband's death in quatrain 135. But when the old lion died, Queen Catherine did not blame Nostradamus. Nostradamus also plotted horoscope readings for her seven children. In Quatrain 407, he predicted the fate of her youngest son, the Duke of Anjou, Francis. He detailed how his fight with his brother would break their mother's heart. And in Quatrain 629, Nostradamus gave information about the family feud. Her son's pursuit of Queen Elizabeth was intriguingly mentioned in Quatrain 185. Believe me, when I searched the web and could not find any prior and similar interpretations on these events, I was stunned. Quatrain 1055, I found it was about Mary Stuart, Queen of Scots. Nostradamus met the 14-year-old Dauphine of France when he did readings for the French royals. What did Nostradamus do when he realized the terrible life ahead for the young queen? That quatrain is the beginning of Queen Mary's downfall. When she decided to marry Henry Stuart, then in quatrain 1084, Nostradamus described the drive behind her second marriage. 
her father's half-sister, Lady Margaret Lennox, the illegitimate girl so high. Darnley's father, Lord Lennox, returned to Scotland in 1564 after his treason charge in 1545. It is a late return with a devastating result to poor Queen Mary. The grieved queen was content to see her uncle return to Scotland, only to find months later he brought more trouble than help. Then in Quatrain 140, there's a detailed description of one of history's most infamous unsolved mysteries. The murder of Lord Darnley, King Consort of Scots in 1567. He was murdered when gunpowder hidden in his basement blew up. Just as Nostradamus predicted, in Quatrain 141, it describes Queen Mary's tragic life after that. She was raped and kidnapped and forced to marry her third husband, Earl of Bothwell, and she was abandoned by her subjects and her family. Then Nostradamus expressed his pity in Quatrain 669. It was about how she bravely escaped to England but only fell into another trap for 18 years before being executed. In Quatrain 186, Nostradamus described her escape to England. Then in Quatrain 823, Nostradamus gave a bombshell testimony. Queen Mary was held partially based on casket letters submitted by her evil half-brother, Lord Moray. Those were letters found in a casket presented in Mary's trial as evidence against her. Although no one can know who wrote them, inconsistencies showed they most likely were forged. However, Nostradamus stated, letters attributed to the queen are found in a casket. They bear neither signature nor author's name. The government conceals the offers within them so that no one will know who is responsible. Clearly, Nostradamus did not think Queen Mary wrote those letters. The Book of Prophecy is filled with detailed, verifiable information like this. Like Quatrain 114 is about Louis XVI's turbulent reign. Quatrain 188 is about his unpopular marriage to Marie Antoinette. Quatrain 202 about the internal conflict among the revolutionaries. Quatrain 464 talks about his trial, and Quatrain 465 talks about his failed escape. Quatrain 902 also gives details of his escape, including landmarks, escape routes, and even mentions the name the rebels called him in his trial, Citizen Capet. Then Nostradamus describes the royal family's eventual fate in Quatrain 977. He predicted the death of Marie Antoinette and her son. One may ask, did Nostradamus ever get it wrong? During my research, I found Nostradamus was not the only prophet with a five-star rating. The Irish saint, Bishop Malachy from the 12th century correctly predicted names of every pope since 1139 and Tuibei Tu, the Chinese prophet with 60 quatrains, not only accurately predicted wars and dynasty changes for the last 1300 years, it followed a strict timeline. Which means when one prophecy gets fulfilled, we know what's coming next. Some people say these prophets got the future information from some kind of time travel, while others say they are from the future. What do you think they are? But one thing always troubles me. If our future is set, what is the point in us trying to change it? Is our future set before we are born? If so, who drew the plan? A few years ago, I started soul searching. I wanted to find out, why are we here? One answer kind of made sense. I was told that we are here to learn lessons. Living in this ever-changing world gives us many chances to learn. Hopefully what I've learned can make me a better person. And together we can make this a better world. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.